My first job when I come off the marsh, straight at the bath, and get nice and warm. And in winter time, a few years ago, we used to have an open fire. And I always say to keep yourself nice and clean, and you, you, you know, you you don't get this rheumatism into you. And I suppose the old boys years ago we used to get wet and dry, and they used to get probably a lot of uh, rheumatism into them. I mean, winter time, I always say regarding reed cutting, the most important thing on the, uh, you see in, in the bird life is a little bit of tits. As soon as you go reed cutting, they come in little groups and twitching about the reed. They tell me they get the seed head from the reed that you knock about, and they are the prettiest birds on the marsh. You cut reed roughly around about mid-December till about the first week in April. And at Howe Hill, we always cut our reed, what we call it, on a double whale. It stands for two years and uh, you mustn't let it go more than two years because if you let it go three years the first year of three will be old and it's very good for wildlife double whale reed like the swallowtail butterfly I believe you cut reed every year what we call single whale you cut away a lot of the swallowtail chrysalis but if you leave it two years which the old boys call double whale you will you will protect that chrysalis that hangs on the reed and it will give it a chance to hatch and that's why you get abundance of swallowtails uh, we, at the moment we have at Howe Hill well, reed is a winter crop, sedge is a summer crop, and I cut approximately a thousand bunches of sedge about two years ago, because sedge doesn't last long as reed, and they reckon probably reed 60 to 80 years, where sedge is possibly at the limit as uh, 30 years.